Hey guys, what's going on? Lane back for another Netflix review, and today I'm gonna be talking about Heart Song. Heart Song is a Turkish romantic comedy drama that tells the story of Peraz, a gypsy nomad who makes a living as a musician who performs at weddings and funerals along with his brother. One evening while preparing to perform at a wedding, he meets the bride named Sumbal and the two are immediately smitten with each other. The marriage proceeds as planned despite some bumps along the way, but Peraz can't get Sumbal out of his mind. He decides to ask his fellow gypsies for help in rescuing Sumbal from what turns out to be an abusive situation, so that he can be finally reunited with his true love. The premise behind this movie didn't inspire a lot of confidence for me at first, but it ended up being one of the most enjoyable Turkish movies I've seen since Paper Lives. The love story itself is a bit shallow, but there's a subplot that saves it, and it provides meaningful discussion about the bliss and dangers of true love. Peraz is a light-hearted and easygoing protagonist, which can be attributed to his nomadic lifestyle. He has a good relationship with pretty much every character who isn't related to Sambal, which is believable on account of his consistent positivity, and this made it easy to like him right from the start. The way he sets his sight on love is pretty rushed if I'm being honest, but once he starts he doesn't let anything keep him away from it, which was actually riveting. Normally I'm not a fan of when a character's only goal is to pursue their love interest, but here it works because Peraz already has everything he needs. Not only is he content with his career as a wayward musician, but he also has the love and support of the fellow gypsies he travels with. Because of this, he's able to devote himself to the woman he believes is his true love, and the lengths he goes to ensure her care and safety is quite inspiring. Of the the two leads, Sumball was definitely my favorite though. She is a delightful eccentric who has no problem with laughing at traditional customs and frequently raises the ire of her husband and father. Her rebel personality took me by surprise and it was a lot of fun to see her put it to good use. She also proved to be a sympathetic character on account of the abusive situation she's forced into from the marriage, basically being treated like cattle with how she mocks and ridicules the whole affair. Her determination to stay true to her feelings and beliefs without even shedding a tear in spite of her circumstances made her an excellent character to fall in love with Peraz. Now, while I think these two characters are a match made in heaven, I have to be honest and say that the movie doesn't do the best job at setting them up. It's literally a love at first sight scenario, in which the two stumble across each other by virtue of them both being familiar with a certain song, they lock eyes for a while, and that's it. Not only is their setup shallow in execution, but it takes a while for the two to connect with each other on a deeper level after they initially meet. Sumball is separated from Peraz for a good chunk of the movie up until halfway through it or so, which leaves less time to properly adjust to the relationship. Once the two finally reunite and get things underway, things between them improve a bit more. Sumball adjusts well to Peraz's lifestyle, and Peraz feels more fulfilled than ever before. Their whole romance would have been fairly formulaic if it hadn't been for the subplot involving Peraz's father, Mersia. Mersia was a fantastic character for this movie's story. In fact, I go so far as to say he was the true main character. Like with his son, his heart is set on a woman named Dilo that he's in love with, except his love goes back several decades and he doesn't know that she's passed away. Mersh's love for Dilo is so deep that he ends up being psychologically affected just by the idea of them being together. This could be interpreted as disturbing, but it ends up being more bittersweet and heartbreaking, as he's already accomplished everything else that a man his age could possibly want. Despite how much he longs for Dilo, he never comes across as completely pitiful. He has the same spirit as his son and just as much love for music, and he plays a small but pivotal role in motivating Peraz to listen to his heart and follow what he feels God is calling him to do, which ties well into the central theme. And this central theme, which revolves around true love, is where this movie truly shines as far as romance is concerned. It demonstrates how deeply love for someone can affect a human being in both good ways and bad. A lot of religious connotations are made throughout the movie, emphasizing that if something is meant to be, then it's meant to be, or basically that's part of God's plan. While I'm not religious myself, it's interesting to see these characters follow their hearts as if God is speaking to them, and they become even more whole than they were before. However, it also tells a cautionary tale about how much love can delude a person's thinking into creating an idealized image of someone despite good intentions, as well as how it's taken advantage of for the sake of maintaining the honor of family. By itself, the romance isn't that deep, but all the threads surrounding it help it stand out more. There's a certain type of energy this movie has that makes it more fun to watch, and a big part of that is because of the community of gypsies this movie centers around. There's a variety of characters and personalities that make the community a chaotic environment, which means there's almost never a dull moment on screen. It feels like the community itself is one collective character, with how close-knit everyone is to each other, which goes to show how far love can go beyond just two characters in love. The way they all support Peraz and feel sorry for Mersia in both of their quests for true love made for a heartwarming experience. Much of this 
this movie's comedy comes into play with them as well through witty dialogue. And it does work when it's just these characters together, but when paired with Sumball's family, things get awkward, and not in a good way. Despite being mostly light in tone, tonal shifts can occur during serious scenes where it feels jarring, and so the emotional impact behind some of Sumball's scenes is lost. But the movie never gets too dark and stays mostly upbeat, largely thanks to the soundtrack, which is amazing. The music perfectly reflects the tone that every scene should convey, even where the screenplay is lacking. And it's just a ton of fun to hear so much cheerful music, especially when Peraz is performing it. The movie truly does live up to its name with how it's used to connect the characters. And like I said before, the way everyone comes together with their family dynamic to help Peraz and Mersha was great to see. The whole rescue operation behind Peraz saving Sumball adds an element of suspense to their love story, while Mersha's arc ends on such an emotionally satisfying note that to say any more about it would spoil the experience. Overall, Heart Song is a superb romance movie that explores the meaning of true love while celebrating it at the same time. If you like romance movies and you're curious to check one out that truly dives into the concept of love in a fun way, I think you should check this one out. While I would have liked to see a more fitting build-up for Peraza's romance, Mirza's story definitely makes up for it. Its powerful subtext blends well with its lively atmosphere, and it's an excellent choice for anyone who wants to watch an uplifting romance that will sing to their hearts. What did you think about this movie? Were you satisfied with how the romance played out, or do you think it could have been improved in some areas? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways guys, that's going to wrap up my review of Heart Song. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, stay tuned for the next part, where next time I review the American action comedy, Day Shift. Bye-bye.